Hey guys, G Dog here, and it is update day. Woo! And yes, loads of stuff has been added. Uh, so we've got wigs. Yep, so there's four types of wigs. Uh, well, actually, five, but one of them's really hard to get. But we'll have a look at that in a little while. Uh, there's a couple of new things. We've got the adventure mode pack. So for 250, you are going to get. Uh, 10 footprints, an official ID, a gold key, and a bonus star. So, these are the footprints, which are pretty cool, actually. Uh, so, you can leave them, like, about now, which look real cool. And when you build them, they'll go in the way you're facing. So, if you, like, well, not the way you're facing, but, like, away from your character. They'll always be away from your character. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So like that. So if you wanted them going like this way, you put them like that. If you want them going the other way, they stand on the other side. But yeah, we've got the bonus star, uh, the gold key, the ID card, and the little admit one ticket. Uh, but we've got some new stamps as well. We've got the interior skin and the slime infestation stamp. Now that comes in normal and bottomless. This is an interesting one, uh, but let's show you the slime first. So yeah, if you've played Adventure Mode, you'll know about this. Uh, but yeah, it makes everything slimy. And I do quite like it, it makes like everything sort of look metallic and shiny, uh, which I quite like. Uh, but yeah, that's the slime stamp. Now the interior stamp is uh, very interesting. This was used in the Adventure Mode, like in buildings and stuff. And it just makes like small little rooms much more easy to like navigate and sort of see about. But yeah, I could use it in here, uh, which does look quite nice actually. I quite like it. Uh, it still looks a little bit weird on doors. Like doors look a little bit odd. I think if you just got a normal door, yeah. I mean, you can still see it, but what it does is it sort of makes everything sort of translucent or opaque near the edge. Now you'll see how this works in here, because I made like a little demonstration room. So yeah, this room is like a nice little demonstration room, like a little, got my little office, and my computer, and my coffee. But yeah, as you can see, we can't see anything right now, at all. So, if I use this interior stamp, you'll see it like makes the walls. Like opaque on two sides at a time, so it just makes it great for having small little rooms like this. Now it does add like little beams at the very top one. That's why I've done the wall so high, so it looks just like that. But you can sort of have it so it does sort of imitate a little roof with the uh, top little beam there. But yeah, the higher you do it, the better it looks for like that. If you don't want these sort of beam looks. Like type looking things. Well, yeah, I think that's great. Now that's 2,500 and I think it really works. Uh, definitely makes rooms like small little ones more intimate and cozy. But uh, yeah, I quite like it just in here. It's quite nice. I like it. So yeah, there are the new stamps and environment stamps and stuff. So let's get on to. Uh, let's do the crates first. So there's two crate boxes we've got the spook pack uh, which is free a spook in a box ghost mobs and 25 phantom foam uh, now that's uh, gonna only be here for a while uh, it says somewhere it'll be back in october i think it's that one might have been on the foot i think it was on the news at the start let's have a look Yeah, the spook pack. No, these ghosts will leave the store on June the 1st, but we'll be back in October. Most likely for Halloween. Uh, but yeah, we've also got the spud bug. Uh, which is this little one, which is, uh, again, 5000 for free, which is spot on. Good pricing, I think. I do really like the spud bugs, but let's have a look at the ghost. So when you place it down, a ghost will appear. Will appear. There it is. And it'll just sort of like fly about in a, in a circle around the box. Now you can bury it. I've got one buried in my realm and it goes like on the block above. 
which is cool. And there's spud bugs, which are awesome. Now they'll come out, obviously, the way the arrow's pointing. Well, yeah, they will like bounce off the walls and stuff, which is cool. So you should like turn around at the end. Yeah, there we go. Which is cool. I like that a lot. They're real cool. I've got some in my realm. Let's go over there now. I'll show you where I've got them. I'm going to hide them a bit better. But yeah, I've just got them. So they come down here and go like either side of the disco. <laughs> well, yeah, they're a real nice mob. I think they're great. They do look awesome. <laughs> right, so let's go back and we'll talk about wigs and stuff. Just got to put this back. This one. Up here. But yeah, I have got a ghost down here on the... Which block is it? He's under this blue plaster block. As you can see, he is like on the surface. And they do hurt ghosts. They take half a heart off of me. Whereas these spud bugs still take one full heart off of me, which is crazy. How much damage they do. So that'll be really good on parkours and stuff. Well, yeah, let's head back and talk about wigs. So there's four main wigs that have been released today. We've got the Aristocrat wig, which looks a little bit like this. Uh, move. <laughs> cat's, the cat sat on it. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Look cool. Then you've got the next rarest, which is... No, nope, I've got loads of those Aristocrats. The Ducal wig. It looks like that. It's a bit bigger. A bit fancier. As you can see, he's got a black one there. And there's loads of different colours these wigs come in, which is cool. But yeah, it can be quite hard to get your own colour. Now, I did try a uh, dyeing one, and I couldn't get it to dye. So, yeah, I don't think you can dye them. Now, the next rarest is the Dame wig. As you can see, I've got four of those, and a lovely lady here is wearing it for me. Looks very fancy. And then the last one, or the most rare, is the... Magisterial wig, which looks, yes, very magisterial indeed. Now, the last wig is on the recipes page as common. Now, I spent 70k and I got those four. I've got these, 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 and I've got another four in my realm. And I didn't get one. Now, they're in the hat pack. They're mixed in with hats now. So, yeah, if we buy a couple, let's see what we... Oh, no, I've not got enough. I mean, I've got two princess caps, but they are pretty... He like, I'm getting pretty much 50-50 hats to wigs. But I did not get my princess hair. Now, this is down as common on the forums, which is not right. Not on the forums, like on the recipes page. But it looks like that anyway. Now, I don't know if it's an error... On the forums or like my website saying it's common because all these like I think this is rare these two are rare and then these are like super rare or oh, that's uncommon something like that but yeah this is meant to be the most common and I like didn't get one at all I managed to buy one for 5k which I thought was actually pretty reasonable I've seen people selling them for 20k today which also I think is probably reasonable because I like I say I spent like 70k. I think Madame Angel spent like 150k and finally got one. Uh, but yeah. That's the princess wig. But yeah, it's cool that they've added all this stuff. It looks cool. I probably will never wear a wig, but they do look cool on mannequins and stuff. And you can like, have like little fashion shows now. Like with your fancy hair and outfit. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much everything from the update. My new stamps, my new adventure mode items. Now these are real cheap, these packs, they're only 250 so, which I think is cool. Like I say, there's not much you can do with the ID, the star, or the key, but it, you know, they look fancy. Sort of have, you can maybe hide stars in like little puzzle realms and stuff, that can be a cool idea. But yeah, I've been G-Dog and this has been everything in the update, and I will see you later. Bye!